Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Rule the Waves 2 as Japan, episode number 56. Wow. So we got some good comments pointing out some different things like the scouting that is going to happen. Um, I may have had the wrong group selected. Truly I did. So kind of glad that we have a second chance at this. Um, I don't know, we may have if... <laughs> I don't think that we impacted someone else's scouting, but let's do something like this. And... This is kind of crazy. How is it that they could possibly have ships closer to the invasion point than us? It certainly isn't our invasion. Let's take this down to two... Let's go down to 230. Just want to be just inside... I guess that's there. Yeah, this is actually really scary, so... I guess we're very close to their airbase. This looks good. I'm going to go ahead and say okay on that. Is this an airbase? I, I mean, I guess I wouldn't be able to see their airbase, but I suspect that this is their airbase. So this circle should be centered around me. Oh, no, this circle is centered around me. Wait. Um, there's a big circle. That is medium bombers. And the medium bomber is the closest airbase, I guess, is over here. Oh my gosh, suspected. <gasps> As that was actually saying suspected enemy minefield, but that must be their nearest airbase. Oh my gosh, this is great news for us. So we are going to, we should dominate the skies here, barring, of course, the enemy carriers themselves. So that's certainly what we'll be doing is looking for their carriers. And I know that we haven't gotten off the ground yet. Haven't started the minute yet. Haven't gone past minute zero. So let's go ahead and start readying everything. Um, not the fighters. Again, those will be given preference for cap. And we only have torpedo bombers. Okay, well. <laughs> I know that this strike exceeds the deck load, but we won't be... Uh, we won't be trying to launch all these at the same time. So yeah, everybody but the fighters is ready to go, and that's it. Okay, this will be a pretty simple mission. Oh, we want our scout float planes to do that, but actually what we need to do is <laughs> we need to send some of our torpedo bombers off. I think some of them need to be sent off as, uh... do you have any aircraft? I think some of them need to be sent off as scouts. Now you do have pretty good dual purpose guns, so what I think we're going to be doing, and I think it makes a lot of sense in our case, is actually just putting all of our eggs in one basket, and that is going to be entirely on the carriers. So I'm going to make you guys support. I don't know if I can do this. Can we make you core? Can we make you core to them? Will this work? I don't think so. <gasps> it did? Oh, awesome. Okay, great. So now I don't have to control anybody, but <laughs> you're core to them. You, that's okay if you screen. And now let's get the, do we have light cruisers? We do. You, well, we have one. Let's get you to be a support for the carriers itself. So this is going to be kind of fun. I, I mean, I, I will appreciate a mission like this if I get a chance to just only control, if, only, if I only control, um, let's make you a scout, I think we'll make you, yeah, you know what, I actually, you'll stay as a scout role, but you'll switch over to the carriers. So the only thing we're gonna be doing in this one is controlling the carriers. So wind is out of the west to the east, which means we'll be turning back to the west which means we need to just start heading east right away. And these are my faster carriers. We'll put them up at, well, I don't want to burn out the engines of, well, no, these are the faster heavy cruisers, I think. Although the flak Ryu, this is, you guys are fine. Okay, 28. So it looks like everyone's capable of making whatever speed we need to make. I think we'll go 24 then. Uh, actually, we should do 22 just until everyone else catches up. So the Flakrios, do these guys have airplanes at all? 
By the way, I'm just noticing that we do have mines on some of our aircraft. I have not noticed I haven't noticed anything with mines being done in the, in the war yet. So was that just a big waste? I hope not. Now we may even get information just from the scouts that are being launched from the airbase. This is one time I think it's worth it for us to take a look at what is going on. Yeah, airbase Buka is in, the, in there. We have some one, I assume that these guys are taking off. We have five different aircraft taking off on recon. I think that we're going to find the fleet just due south of us, but yeah, we'll see. Okay, they're fanning out. So I would like to actually hide behind this island. Okay, we're turning back into the wind. Didn't take long. I just <laughs> really hope we don't find something okay. So we're sending out our recons, yeah. Our recon are being sent out. Oh, 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 okay, 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 okay. Um, they decided to become independent. Let's can we change it back to core. Let's see how long this lasts for. I can manually control them. I do not mind. Because the aircraft carriers, I basically don't need to do anything with those. Are they still on core? Oh no, they're independent. So I'll take them off. We'll, we'll just manually, manually control them. But we want them all bunched together so that maximum cap, max, maximum uh, anti-aircraft. Okay, so I guess if I only have to control one person. <laughs> and Nanzon from has attacked an enemy submarine. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's really cool that we see that. I wish I, I wish I knew where it, it was happening, but like, what is this? That's our, one of our medium bombers. And have we do we have any reports? Oh, we do. Oh, good lord. Is it possible that this is... They're already invading? Okay, interesting. We got some scouting reports here. Now, this is pretty interesting. We have to make a decision quickly what we're going to do. Um, <clears throat> okay, I have an idea. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to send the aircraft carriers west, west by northwest. I mean, practically due west, but maybe just slightly north of west to get them to cover, to get them to be covered by the island. And then I'm going to send the heavy cruisers down the west coast of the island. Because I have only spotted supposedly one light cruiser, I don't know whether or not we have anything here. Okay, I, I know what I'm going to do. I'm gonna target prioritize the aircraft carriers for my launch, but hopefully, I mean, hopefully if we do find aircraft carriers, they'll go after them, but hopefully if they don't, they'll attack the... Yeah, because these guys are like really close. I don't think that they would put a situation like it doesn't I can't see where they're trying to attack. Wait. They do often put the batteries close to the attack points. Well, that is really 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 bad. You got to be kidding me if they it, like this seems really unfair that my invasion force cannot my invasion defense force cannot possibly react in time. All right, well, let's just go ahead and do this attack then. Um, okay, so 16 and 17 is what we'll launch. And 16 and 16 down here. I do not want to prioritize any target. I think it's going to be okay for us to just prioritize this. And see if you'll be the priority target. But wow, 208. What's our range? Oh, 108. Can't even make it. Oh, man.
Okay, well, we won't be launching yet. And we do need to make all due speed then, which I'll call 26, as basically just need a charge. Can we squeak through here? In theory, yes, but it's gonna give us a lot of warnings about entering the port. We'll just head, uh, we'll head this way, and then when we start launching, we'll move back to the west, so. We'll do the same with you guys, just get you up to 26 so that we're still moving, you know, more or less the same. Enemy aircraft are approaching Japan Division 14. Where, what is Japan Division 14? Oh my gosh. Those are nine torpedo bombers with a naval strike. Yeah, so I don't know what this is. Oh, it's a single Corvette. Well, out of all the things they could be attacking, this more or less, I mean, this, ah, God, it almost has to confirm the fact well, that they have aircraft carriers. That's not a, that's a no-brainer, but we need to hold on to our aircraft until we have their aircraft carrier. I think that that's what has to happen. So we just need to wait for a report that shows us anything besides what's going on. I mean, it shows us a little bit more about what's going on. Yeah, and the, the medium bombers are actually going to be able to go out and attack from the, air, from the island. So we're just going to retain our current situation here, move a little bit closer. Torpedo bombers are also taken off. Yeah, and we will also prepare to do the same. Are they flying after the one light cruiser? Might not be a bad idea. I don't really want to move continuously, but I guess I will. I just, I'm a little worried that we'll have a Wait, I need to see that. Okay. We have been spotted by enemy aircraft. Although I think we're doing the right thing. Will we have a cap over our airbase? Can our airbase and our carriers like combine? I mean, hey, moving closer to the port is just cannot be a bad thing. Being able to enter the port easier if we take critical damage would be very nice. But we still need something more. Now, if we're just spotted right now, we still have time. Okay, a new... This is just a single light cruiser, though. That's just... I mean, it's not what we want. We want to know what else is out there. So now we have 16 flying boats taken off from Buka in order to conduct an attack. It's really cool that we have this many. I'm still also a little bit worried about what's going on with the invasion. Okay. <clears throat> this is pretty interesting. So, we are, we have some of our torpedo bombers actually approaching their light cruiser. We have some medium bombers level bombing a destroyer and a battle cruiser. Okay, we need to know where where is this? Okay, this is just, it's gotta be it then. So let's just launch our strike assuming, I'm just gonna assume, I have to, that they're all bunched up together. So let's get ready and go. We will have a reserve of 15 and 16. A lot That's actually a sizable force of torpedo bombers that will be ready in reserve. So let's, um, here, here, just have them more or less on this area. Hopefully you find what, and do you know what, no. Wait, no, sorry, Do are you sure you do not want to? Yes, I'm sure I do not want to. It's not asking me if I want to coordinate it, it's asking me if I'm okay not coordinating it. <laughs> so there we go, let's do that. 
means that... Oh, okay, wow. Whoa, things are going well already. There's definitely at least a battle cruiser there. And it looks like a destroyer was actually hit by... Well, so, good. Damage is going out right away. We do have a recon plane, which is passing over this area. Probably would have spotted the transports. Now, the great thing about these heavy cruisers is that they are absolutely fast enough. And by the way, what are you? Your max speed is 31. That's great. Um, they're absolutely fast enough to get in and out whatever we need them to do. I want them to stay close because I think this is going to be an air battle only. We have hit a oh, battle cruiser with three torpedoes. And this is why I'm happy they're trying to invade. <laughs> we're, we're getting some good luck so far with our land-based aircraft. Our flying boats are also headed out, which is just, to me, it's hilarious. <laughs> okay, they're starting to turn into the wind. Now this is where I have to make my decision. Do do we stay with the carriers? Okay, let me, let me see. Do you guys have any dual-purpose guns? No. So you are going to be detached over to my heavy cruiser. And I don't think that you have any either. I don't know, are these dual purpose? They would say dual purpose, I suppose, if they were. They're not. Okay, so you can stay with us as well. But anybody who has dual purpose ability is not, eh, I don't think anybody's gonna have dual purpose, unfortunately. Do you? You do. So the support is going to stay with my carriers. That's good. Let's just have her go to support. Oops. Support for the carriers. Like you, you're going to be support for the carriers. I suppose you also have. Yeah. So that's good. We're going to add a little bit of anti-aircraft. It's not much, but it, but it's something. These carriers themselves do have 12 four, four inch dual purpose guns. That's that's also good. And a lot. 48 light AA, 18 heavy. Really not that bad. It's definitely something. And what's your situation? You're going to screen. I think we'll leave one destroyer with them. It's nice to have some reserve. Okay, sorry, I had to sneeze. This is exciting. Okay, so they're approaching Division 14 still. It's fantastic. <laughs> There's a lot of aircraft coming in. So there must be carriers somewhere. Yeah, they're spending all their torpedoes against my Corvette, which they haven't hit yet. I can imagine it's going to be hard to hit it. All right, now we're getting a better report. So we have battle cruiser, light cruiser, three destroyers down here. Battle cruiser, light cruiser, three destroyers. Battle cruiser, light cruiser, battle. Ooh, battle cruiser. This is interesting. That's the most interesting one, spotting a battle cruiser over here. Okay, so once this wave goes out, I think we'll just continue to get closer. Are they, yeah, once they're done moving that way and they're moving back this way, which is what I want, then we're gonna go ahead and prepare a strike for that group as well, which might be the carriers. Yeah, and these guys are Moving into support, and you're going to screen. I think you're screening as well. That's fine. Okay, so maybe slow down just a little bit to give my destroyers a chance to catch up. And we've decided to detach. Now, the only problem with leaving my carriers, having my heavy cruisers leave my carriers, is that these actually have the most amount of dual purpose guns. So it's kind of like the least effective thing to not be <laughs> grouping them up together. But I'd rather have my heavy cruisers get hit than my carriers. I think. <laughs> this is kind of that situation where the higher max speed actually hurts you more than anything. It's exactly the opposite direction that, of where I want to go. Still, I think we're getting those strikes airborne. We are. <clears throat> Although we didn't coordinate them, they're moving in tandem. All right, here we go.
Oh, there it is. Okay, it is true. It is true. They're moving away. We're going to move towards them more. Let's not launch a strike yet. Okay, our flying boats are now approaching targets. I don't even know if they're going to bomb or torpedo. <laughs> they are going to level bomb. I... Yeah, I'm not... I'm not going to be too surprised if they don't end up getting some hits. I mean, if they don't end up getting any hits. Oh, wow! They actually got a bomb hit. It's fantastic. And I know that we got a lot of torpedo hits, which is why it would be nice. It will definitely be nice. Let's put these guys at 25. Let the cruisers just burn their engines a little bit. And we're not seeing any cap over those targets either. So lots of good stuff. Okay, now we're going to launch cap. This must be cap related. Yeah, there goes the flying boat. So they've weakened this whatever force is there. And we're about to drop, drop like a huge amount of torpedo bombers on them. Unfortunately, no carriers are going to be in the area. Let's see how our... Let's, it'd be interesting to see how we react to that. But we know where their carriers are. And they keep approaching my Division 14. So that's... That's good news. The Shanghai Maru is just... It's a hero. It's the hero of the battle so far. Having having not been hit by torpedoes and absorbing all the enemy torpedoes. And there's our... This is such an awesome little task force steaming off. I mean, a little... Yeah, it's it's just awesome. Good luck to them. And we got our light cruisers. Yeah, this, this is actually okay. I feel pretty okay about this. All right, unknown ship has fired at the coastal battle coastal batteries. That must be this. Yeah, we can see the landfall. So we need this carrier group to be moving towards this. We know that this is okay, but... Nah, I mean, we're not going to be getting there close enough what are you guys going to do if there's no carrier, though? You'd think that we'd be radioing. Just, okay, hey, by the way, there's no... Wait, what the hell is going on? Recon? It's going out as well? Okay. Well, I'll take it. more recon, the better. All right, here we go. I don't know what they're going to be doing because I don't think there are carriers over there, but hopefully that battle cruiser is going to be hit again. Ooh. Okay, that yeah, we're torpedo bombing a destroyer. <laughs> I'm going to assume that means that battle cruiser is already going down. Yeah, look at this. Stupid Light, 18 light air anti-aircraft destroyed two, I mean, damaged one and destroyed one. I mean, takes two out. We are getting hits on something, which I'm assuming is... I'm assuming this is the battle cruiser. I mean, whatever we're hitting, I think it's, it's going to be sunk. But we need to get... Yeah, so we have the other aircraft ready. We're probably just not in range yet. Yeah, that's it's looking good, whatever's going on there. But if there is indeed another... Um, uh, you guys can actually speed up a little bit more. What's your squad max? Wow, you can actually go 30. That's pretty awesome. The other group is coming in. They're just going to destroy whatever is there. I'm not even sure we're going to send a ship to investigate this. <laughs> just going to move right towards where their carriers are. Okay. That's that's what we want to see. Not I'm not sure if we wanted to see it, but it's good to know what is going on. 
do, 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 15 and 16. So I really want the land base group to launch first. Yeah, these guys are getting ready to fly. That's exactly what I wanted. So in in four minutes, the oh, I have a flight here. Um, the in four more minutes, the torpedo bombers are going to be up. What about the medium bombers, which were surprisingly effective? Oh, they're already up. Okay. Well, but wait, wait, wait. Where are they going? Oh, all right. Oh, it looks like they're going the right way. Okay, perfect. That's all I want to know. That means we're going. We're striking. Kind of, basically, we're just trying to coordinate with the land-based groups. Now, yeah, over here. As far over here as you can get. Is this the most recent? 0034. No. Here we go. 106. Yeah, this is the one. Just gonna put him right in here. Target, yes, launch. All right, that's the big one. When seeing that many light cruisers, I, I mean, I had, uh, armored cruisers with them, heavy cruisers, I should say, that's pretty scary. And we still have some aircraft approaching their diversion. <laughs> Unfortunately. Yeah. And the only, the, the, basically all I want to happen with this is that they come back home safely, like mo more aircraft return, and quickly. That's what I want. But I don't, I mean, we're seeing aircraft being damaged and they're wasting time on these, what I'm assuming are already sinking vessels. It's still nice getting this. Oh, six. Need to transport. Another. Oh man. I mean, they're just doing really well with their their guns. <laughs> this is a little bit interesting. Four. Where are these? Over here. Okay. So four of the flying boats are going to make an attack. What happened with the? Oh, they're still coming in. Oh my gosh! Two hits! Oh, okay, on transports, but that's still really good. Should be focusing on the light, I mean, on the carriers, but. <laughs> Alright. Whatever you say, boss. I can't tell if we're even making headway. <laughs> and the good news is, if we go down here, we can always go into port there, too. So I know I'm sending my aggressively I mean my force aggressively forward but hopefully it all works out well because we can always go into port there if we need okay here we go so now there's air combat the medium bombers they damaged one of my medium bombers, but my medium bombers actually <laughs> shot down two of their cap. Ashigaras. Oh, are these coal? Oh, lord. <laughs> She's at 24 max speed. We'll probably have to detach her. Just gonna put her on independent. Send her down to like, let's just send her down to cruise speed. In fact, we'll just have her cruise the same direction, but she'll fall behind pretty quickly. Yeah, these guys are all gonna lose. Okay, so this whole group, which has only a max speed of 30, you, this whole group just needs to slow down. Which is sad because that's the majority of my darn destroyers. Okay, here comes the medium bombers. They're also attacking. And they're getting bomb hits on a battleship this time. Well, I don't know. If they're level bombing from so high, 
I'm not sure they'll be able to correct, correctly identify what's going on. But they claim that they are hitting battleships or battle cruisers. Now, did the other torpedo bombers return yet? No. We do have four torpedo bombers here. Experience? Good, very good, very good, 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 very good. Wow, so these guys are apparently very experienced. Which is, yeah, that's nice to know. And it just, it like, they just broke, as far as I know. Yeah, local time is 11.30. It's almost noon, so it's, not, it's no longer daybreak, but we started early enough on that things are going well. We have plenty of time. Plenty of time to mount another airstrike. Speaking of, okay, light cruiser division. But I mean, no matter what, these both have to be, I don't remember which one it was approaching, light cruiser division 12, yeah, I think it's this one. Yeah, so there, do I see blue? I do, right there. Six dive bombers. Yep, they're coming in, but we have already shot down two of them and we do have this is where the all the hopefully all the triple a will start dissuading them from a, a proper attack still have that thing where we're going in as pairs that is good to see no bomb hits and then we sh we're able to shoot down three more dive bombers you can see how perilous this is that we you know, it's, it's really hit, kill or be killed. You gotta strike and eliminate them before they eliminate us. And that's why I'm still looking to see when we're gonna get their back. They are back. So get you ready, get you ready. Ready, strike. Yeah, just go, get ready. while my cruiser just speeds down the coast. Um, wow. So the escorts are getting pummeled as well, which is good, that means we won't see them on the return trip. Maybe we were just getting extremely unlucky last time. Or maybe our air crew experience was really bad. Okay, there, they did shoot down one of mine now. We're still at 16 here. So there is a reason to make your aircraft. I mean, these guys probably have engine priority and all that, which means that they're even worse. You know, they're... Uh... <laughs> their engines are likely to... They have no reliability, essentially. Where is the Houghton Maru class? Okay, so this thing's being attacked. We're close, man. We're very close. Always reminds me of uh, Where in the World is Common San Diego, the actual video game. You're getting too close, gumshoe. I mean, this ship is going to die almost instantly. It did its job, though. It absorbed, like, three or four or five, maybe even. Oh, look at the torpedoes. And you can see it's in within vision range, so, like, for the... For the role playing and for their immersion, you can imagine that these heavy cruisers are, they know they're steaming against the odds. They've heard their reports now of battle cruisers being present at the destination, at the invasion port, uh, at the invasion target. But they're going in. They know that, you know, they could get lucky with some torpedoes. For all they know, the aircraft will get the job done and they just need to polish off some transports. And then they see overhead these large waves of large waves of friendly torpedo bombers moving towards the direction that they suspect the enemy target is at. All right, we have one which is ready and one which is not. Did I not select them both? I might have messed this up. We'll ready this strike as well. And I think what we're gonna do is just I think we have to launch, unfortunately. 
just don't think there's a, there's any we can't wait Okay, that 19 was the other one, so we'll just get this one to launch as well. I'm going to have those destroyers fan out in the back just to have some modicum of scouting beyond the coast. Otherwise, <laughs> These guys are just making a beeline for the, what I assume are the battle cruisers. We're gonna be going really fast when. Okay, wow, this is this is so important. We're gonna be going really fast when we see them. I guess turning around is already gonna deplete a lot of that speed. But boy, we're coming in. Oh, look at that the. The rest of the flying boats are coming in as well. So this will be a big this will be a big attack. Okay, they're approaching. This is uh 11 of them. This could be bad. We are now at this point closer to our other port. So, let's just kick it up to squad max. Oh my gosh, enemy redoubtable class hit. How do we have vision on this? <laughs> oh, I, I think our I think our Corvette does. All right, combined 26 didn't do any damage this time. 16 light anti-aircraft as well. I'm very nervous. <laughs> Okay, light anti-aircraft destroyed one, heavy anti-aircraft destroyed one. It's good to see. I mean, these are really good, quite good heavy cruisers. I think that I have at least torpedo protection one on them, right? I believe I did. Hope so, here we go. Oh, okay, and I mean, now approaching the carrier division. Eight torpedo bombers. Based on their success the last time, I'm hoping that that's not something to worry about. So we're attacking by the, oh, that's, oh my gosh, we're attacking their carrier. We're attacking their carrier. Oh my gosh, their carriers are here. This is huge, oh my gosh, this is huge. Now, we did not hit with any bombs, damn. Okay, let's see what's going on. Three of our torpedo bombers are attacking a battle cruiser, or a battleship. We're level bombing a transport, and we got two hits on the transport. That's actually a good thing. I'd rather them do that than... Okay, that's also really good. Oh, I think that's the carrier. And a bomb hit on the, light, on the carrier. That is so crucial. If we can just stop carrier act activity, just give us time to line up a, a second assault, essentially. Probably about time for us to get this going on. We have these which are ready. That's right. And then these which are not ready, but we should ready. And then the rest are cap and you guys are three which, nah, it's not big enough. Let's leave it. I, you know what? I don't like. I don't want my carrier to keep turning, so I'm not gonna. I'm gonna launch these two at the same time. This one's ready, and the other one's getting ready. So I might launch them at the same time because they're on two different carriers. So I might as well launch them at the same time. Otherwise, their launches will just keep me going west for a long time, and it doesn't have to be that way since they are on different carriers. Oh man. I'm gonna slow down to 27 here to let the Ashigara catch back up. So I think that was only one torpedo into the carrier. 
enemy aircraft are approaching. Yeah, four dive bombers. Hopefully these guys are close enough that their combined AA is used. 27. Huh. Even one of mine by itself has more AA factor than that. Like, oh, I don't, yeah, this is 27 heavy AA. What? Why is only 13 being applied? Okay, well we were able to escape that attack. Look at this stream of forces. <laughs> some of them going in, some of them returning. That's so cool. <laughs> oh, this is a good battle. Well, um, it's been 41 minutes. I know that things are about to get more exciting. Hopefully we've already hit their carrier and, you know, this is already just a, a moot point. But, just in case, we'll keep sending our our dive bomb, I mean our torpedo bombers out. I'm really, I mean, prioritizing the, the carriers. Because I'm really worried that they are actually successful at this invasion. That even though we win the battle, their invasion is, they put the boots on the ground and we end up losing the island. That would be a devastating loss. I mean, we'd lose all the our entire presence in this area. So we, just, we just can't lose that. Oh, we have more people, more medium bombers coming. We're almost in range of everything. I wonder why your max speed is the Ashigar's max speed is more than 30. I wonder why she's not flying, or not flying, but why is she not increasing? Okay, it does look like she is increasing her speed, 25. If I just cut down to 23, do you also cut down to 23? No, good, okay. Uh, at this point, we should have both ready. So yeah, one on the Suki and one on the Tsunami. Get these guys ready. First, I suppose I should look at the scouting reports. What's the latest? There was a battle cruiser still limping away. Are you kidding me? I'm not. Gonna, I'm. Just, I have to ignore it. Obviously, I. I just cannot. I cannot bother with it. Hmm, interesting. So there's one carrier here and one carrier there. And they're all heading south. I mean, I can't worry about this because I'm assuming it was hit by torpedoes already. And it's not something which is capable of doing damage to us. I don't even think if it got in range we'd have to worry about it because if it's already damaged like that, we could probably just lead it around with our heavy cruisers. And then... Hmm, these guys are going to land in dark. But, that's the life of a pilot. Now we're close enough to go into port, by the way, so this is fantastic. Yeah, and I keep saying I'm going to call this video to a close, but I'm so excited. I, I myself really don't want to wait. Okay, we have spotted an unknown ship. And it is moving. It is not sitting in the water. Which is what I was hoping. It is followed by another ship. Okay, this is potentially bad. They're, they're not going slow either. We have five torpedo bombers. Where are they? I, I, oh boy. I, yeah, this is a lot of ships. Okay, this is probably, this is probably the fleet. Yeah, yep. 
Now they're going to be going evasive right now, so this is probably a good time to be identifying them. They won't be as effective. We also have our port so close, we, I think we can be a little bit risky here. Probably not as much with our destroyer since she'll just get destroyed. I mean, she'll just be blasted to pieces before she can get anywhere. But what are we seeing here? Oh man, she opens fire. Yeah, that's definitely a battleship. I am actually completely unsure how the hell this thing, this ship must have radar firing because it's so insanely beyond sight range. Oh god, the British have radar. Well, that's a horrifying thought. I think I'll bring this video to a close here. So we really got our work cut out for us next episode. And I actually have to ask the question, is it worth it to actually launch another wave after this? I don't think so, honestly. I think after this, we just use our... We probably, like, what destroyers do we have here? I am going to retask you guys to just head this way. So let me just go one more minute to make sure to confirm that. But I think I will otherwise keep my light cruisers with them because of the AA. Yeah. And this is it. This is their main force, and we did get our torpedo bombers onto target. So we'll see how it works in the next episode. Until then, thanks for watching, and take care.